feline friends and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be all about keeping our kitties hydrated. Yes, just like us humans, cats need that good old H2O to stay healthy, happy, and live out their best lives. But unlike humans, cats tend to be a bit more finicky about how they drink their water, which can put them at risk of dehydration and even long-term urinary issues. So as a health researcher who spends most of my workday reviewing research studies on humans, I wanted to channel some of my nerd energy into digging a bit deeper into the science of felines. I've seen some blog posts here and there that suggest pro tips like using a fountain or feeding your cat canned food to increase their water intake. But I was really curious to see whether any actual research had been conducted to support these recommendations. So for those of you who are also wondering whether or not you should be getting your cat a fountain or whether or not you need to change up their diet, I'm going to summarize all of the research that I found for y'all. Alright, so just starting off with some basics. What are the benefits of promoting water intake in our cats? Well, according to current research, there are many benefits, but here are a few important ones. Studies have shown that cats who have a water-rich diet tend to have less calcium oxalate in their urine. Calcium oxalate is basically a substance that can build up, harden, and then lead to urinary blockages, which can then cause pain in your cat and prevent them from urinating normally. So staying hydrated is crucial to your cat's overall regulation of their urinary system and prevention of long-term health problems. There's also been research showing that cats who drink more water tend to stay more active. And of course, a more active cat means better weight management, and better weight management means a decreased chance of your cat becoming overweight or obese as they age. Okay, so now let's talk about cat fountains. Have you ever wondered whether getting a pet fountain was actually worth the money? Or whether it even makes any difference over a regular bowl of water? I've personally been seeing a theory circulating online that cats prefer running water to still water because based on instincts, still water doesn't feel safe to drink. But if this theory is true, it would suggest that cats would probably drink more water out of a fountain than out of a bowl. Well, here's what the science says. So I was only able to find two studies on this topic, and both studies had fairly inconclusive results. The first study gave 13 cats both a free-falling fountain and a regular water bowl and then compared the water intake from both sources. Aside from one cat that ended up vomiting from the fountain, poor kitty, the other 12 cats had slightly higher water intake from the fountain than they did with the bowl. But after measuring the actual density of urine, the researchers determined that there really were no differences in actual hydration levels. The other study compared three different types of water bowls and their impact on water intake. So 16 cats in this study switched off between using a regular bowl, a free-falling fountain, and a circulating fountain. But similar to the first study, the researchers actually found no differences in water intake between any of these three uses. Okay, but I did also want to point out that a few cats in the second study did actually show a slight preference to one type of bowl versus the other two. So even though the short-term results didn't show that one bowl necessarily led to a higher water intake over the other two, I think it is really important to get to know your cat and observe their behavior because finding a water source that your cat likes may lead to higher water intake over a longer period of time. In my own experience with Spike, I tried out different types of water bowls and I actually found that he really enjoys switching between drinking from his fountain and his other water cups. And yes, we do give him cups instead of bowls because otherwise he tries to hijack our water cups. So personally, I've just found that having a variety of water sources has been a good way to promote his water intake rather than the type of bowl itself. But anyway, it would have been interesting to conduct a study to see whether variety actually matters more than the type of bowl. Maybe I should have done that for my thesis. Okay, so the last topic I looked into was whether there were benefits to feeding your cat a wet diet, which consists of either canned food or rehydrated kibble, over a dry diet. Overall, studies concluded that water intake and urine volume are in fact higher in cats on a canned or wet food diet compared to cats on a dry food diet. 
Remember how earlier I also mentioned that keeping your cat hydrated can help increase their activity levels? Well, there are also several studies that have shown that feeding a cat canned food or even hydrated kibble does, in fact, increase activity levels and prevent obesity over time. One study also found that there were no differences in activity levels between cats who eat canned food or rehydrated kibble. So adding water to your cat's kibble can be a good alternative to canned food if canned food is slightly out of your budget. I mentioned in a previous video that we currently feed Spike a mixed canned and dry food diet. But after reading these studies, I was curious to try rehydrating Spike's kibble to see if it would be palatable to him, and he seemed to really enjoy it. So, in summary, current research suggests that there may not be any substantial differences in using a cat fountain over a water bowl, but feeding your cat canned food or rehydrating your cat's kibble can be a great way to increase their water intake and their activity levels. But of course, I do have to acknowledge that there are limitations to every research study, and there might just not be enough research out there to draw any conclusions on the utility of pet fountains. So again, I'd encourage you to take some time to just get to know your feline friend because you might discover a unique strategy that works for your cat and just hasn't been researched yet. So thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you'd like to see more research-based videos on our feline friends, please leave a comment down below and let me know what topic you'd like me to look into next. And if you like the content that you're seeing, please don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and I will see you in our next video. Bye, all.